Okay, this is a brief tutorial in using Inkscape. Ignore all the crap on my desktop. We're going to open Inkscape and we're going to do some G code with it. Uh, so first of all, we open G, well, Inkscape and we make a document. Uh, so let's put some text on it. Um, big fat bomb. There we go. Let's alter this. Put it there, change the shape, there we go. Let's have a big fat bum uh, cut out of a piece of metal, eh? So we have, oh, stop it, that's the tool I want. It's selected, I've selected it. You can tell it's got these in and out arrows around it. You can change the font and various things, but we're gonna stick with this font at the moment because let's crack on. Now first thing we do is we've got a path and object to path that's turned it into a path that's very important so we have a path now now that we have a path we have to go to the G code extensions and there are some setting up that we have to do first of all we need some orientation points that tells it where the origin is <coughs> orientation points uh, do what I do two point mode Z depth minus one. Apply, close, and we're going to zoom out. Look, your big fat bum has got orientation points on it. They're going to go down here. And basically, your G code will use this zero 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 as the origin here. And there's one hundred millimeters further along. Boom. So that's the scale in millimeters okay so now you have to select this that is the thing that will be turned into G code and for the next part we're going to use G code extensions again G code tools path to G code now in here we have to have the file name set up that you wanted to make the G code in and you say add numeric suffix to file name so when you make numerous versions of this and you will make numerous versions of this you put a number at the end of it which increments automatically and you tell it the directory otherwise you won't be able to effing find it you need to do that okay so you definitely set that up now you don't just leave it on this page here that's no good and by the way that's the height it will fly at when it's moving the tool between cuts um, Scale along z-axis, set that to 1. It needs to be 1, definitely 1 and nothing else. And uh, path to G-code, you need to be on this tab when you press the apply button. Okay, you need to do that. Uh, and depth function. You can do something here where the colour uh, tells the, the tool how deep to go. Or you type in the depth here as a number, minus 1 here minus one. I'm going to tell it to cut minus two millimeters deep. Say apply. It says you haven't defined a cutting tool so it's going to use a default one. Okie dokie. Working. Please wait. Now look. I'm going to move this out of the way. Zoom out. Let's just move my big fat bum into the middle of the screen. And this is the place where you would change the feed rate. You would use the text thing here and you would change the text there. That's 400 millimeters per minute. If you wanted to slow it down, you would set that to, for example, 200 millimeters per minute. And you would repeat the process whereby you would do the following. You would select this text and then you would do the same thing. Extensions, G code, tools. Path to G code, make sure this is selected and do apply. No paths are selected, oh, okay. And it's doing it again. And I'm gonna bring up the directory, look, because we've done this a few times, I've actually got, because I tested this before showing you this video, um, various versions, but this should be the working output from the process we've just done, which is this G code. This is the G code for the big fat bomb that's on the screen. Each of those is a letter. 
a great big letter. So let's test it and see if it works. So G code 00, 006. Let's fire up Camotics. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we're going to go File, New Project. Yes, we're going to go to the tool and set it to be a one millimeter. Tool, and we're going to load the G code, add file, G code file. And we're going to go to the place where it is, computer F, data bucket, and it was in G code and CNC stuff. Uh, number six and we run it ah. <laughs> look it's a big fat bomb and there is the origin it's not down at the bottom of an A4 page it is there and you will see when it's cutting this is the depth here it goes down to minus one millimeter deep I set that to minus two is it going to do two cuts I wonder Let's speed it up. Yes, yeah, doing two cuts because of the step size in those dialogues. So one of the one of the settings was that it does it in steps of one millimeter. So that telling it to do it in two steps of one of minus one and then minus two which was set up in here. Uh, minus depth function. I have no idea where that is now. I'm fairly certain I saw it somewhere. What was it in here? Depth step one. Yeah, it is on the screen over here. Look, this number over here which I'm going round and round and round with the mouse here is my is one millimeter depth step and we told it to cut in the generate G code tools path the G code here's the depth go to minus two and it always assumes that you start at zero so when it goes to a depth of minus two and it can only go in one millimeter steps it does one cut at one millimeter at minus one millimeter depth and then a second cut at minus two millimeter depth okay there you go so this thing generate a g code now it's quite possible that you might have to manually edit it and change a few things um, before running on the actual cnc machine but it's always pretty good to run the thing on a simulator you get a fairly good idea of whether or not your big fat bum is going to work out all right there you go hope that was of help bye bye